Okay guys, we're back with another recipe from Keto Made Easy by Keto Connect. Today is going to be a strange one. It's called Sag Paneer and it's an Indian dish and I am not excited about it at all. It looks nasty. Um, but this is, uh, calories are 386, fat is 31 grams, protein is 15.3 grams, carbs are 8.3 um, grams, and fiber is 1. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to preheat the um, skillet over here. I have on medium-high heat, and then we're going to put about 1 tablespoon of this ghee here in there. It's just clarified um, butter. It's really good if you're going to start doing keto. I have to try to open this thing. Oh, uh, what did I do with it? You can put ghee in your coffee to add fat. There it goes. I got it. <laughs> I always have trouble with this one for some reason. It like seals. And so it's hard to open. So I'm going to just put um, a tablespoon of that on the on this to melt. And then the next thing we're going to do is actually, this is a brand new product for me also. This is called Paneer um, Indian Style Cooking Cheese. I have never had it before. This will be my first time having this. So we're going to open this up. It says to have 8 ounces, which I've got 8 ounces, and we're going to cut this up into cubes. So I'm just going to tear this open. I'll bring you guys down to see what I'm doing here. Perfect. I might have to get a bigger knife here. And then once we get this cut up, we're going to put it in that ghee there. So, cut this up one more time here. And we're going to let this brown. Once we get this all caught up, I should have grabbed a bigger knife, but that's okay. Perfect. So now we're going to take this and we're going to put it over in the skillet now. So I'm going to move you guys over here to the skillet. And we're going to grab a spatula. We're going to use penguin today and get this butter to melt. to add in that cheese and then we're going to let this cook for about five to seven minutes so it needs to get brown so we'll be back in about five to seven minutes and then we'll take a look at these so while that is still cooking, we're going to go ahead and just cut up some onions. It says to use a third of a medium sized white onion roughly chopped. So roughly means to me, it means to be big um, chunks, but I, like I said, I'm not a big fan of onions. So I'm going to just take a few of these and cut this up here. And I'm going to dice them pretty thin.
hopefully that is good. We're going to go ahead and toss these again. Here, flip them over. So I added some tomatoes, one small tomato, and I added in um, four cups of spinach. So that is what is cooking right now. Um, we're going to let this kind of evaporate and um, add in all the flavors and we'll be back. Okay guys, now we're going to add in the seasoning here. So the first seasoning that we're going to add is this gormsala. I've never had this before, I had to buy it, um, but we're going to put in two and a half teaspoons of this um, powder, give it lots of flavor, so there's one, and there's two and then a half. There we go. And then the next thing we're going to add is turmeric. Turmeric is one of my favorite things. Lately, it really helps with my back. If you have any kind of anti-inflammatory, turmeric is a great way to get that to stop hurting. So it's a one and a half teaspoon. Turmeric you can put in tea, you can have it in um, pill form, there's all sorts of different ways to have it, but I got this at TJ Maxx for $2.50, really good deal and it lasts a long time. Then we're going to add in chili powder, which is uh, one teaspoon of chili powder. And then we're going to add in Himalayan salt, which is one teaspoon. This doesn't actually look that bad compared to the picture. And then we're going to mix this all up and add in the cheese again. Actually, we have to add in the heavy cream first. There's about a fourth of a cup of heavy cream. I'm going to say it doesn't look that bad now. Okay, and then we're going to add in a half a cup of heavy cream. So, there we go. Just my regular heavy cream here. And we're going to add in that cheese. I kind of want to taste it just by itself. Very chewy. Almost tastes like plastic. Mmm. Not a whole lot of flavor either. And you're supposed to eat this immediately. If you want to reheat it, um, you can just stick it in the microwave for a few minutes. And then... Um, it can last up to four days in a sealed container. So that is it, you guys. So let's go ahead and take a quick bite. See if the flavoring is good. Grab a spoon here or a fork. I'm going to um, probably grab this one right here. So here's the bite. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Here's my reaction. <laughs> the best part of the whole. It's going to be so hot. Mm. 
not terrible. I don't really taste much flavor, but everything does taste really good. No onions in that bite, so that was good. But please and like, please like and subscribe. We're starting a this a new chapter in the new video. The next video it's going to be takeout. So I'll give you a sneak um, peek of what the next recipe is going to be. If I can find it here. Oh. These ones, this looks fantastic. So I'm excited about sp trying spicy tuna hand rolls. So please like and subscribe and thanks for watching you guys.